Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. We shine down on me. You know this song? Mr. Could you sing it? Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Boom Sun, please shine down on me. Good morning, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day. The sun is out. Uh, it is Thursday, April 2nd. 2020 and go outside. It's a beautiful, sunny, cool day today. What a surprise. Not so hot today. Okay, boys and girls. So I am sorry I can't be with you today, but I am here to assist you with some of your assignments today. So you could use this video to help you or you could do it independently. It is up to you, whatever makes your life easier. Okay, so today for science, you're gonna go to page 156 and 157. Remember boys and girls, the page numbers are on the bottom. Try to be independent, show your parents how independent you are. You can look for page numbers on your own, page 156, 157. Okay, and this is just an assessment, and it's going to go over living things, um, animals, and everything that you went over in the prior pages. Okay, so that's it for science. For social studies, you're going to do the unit four wrap-up, which I know on the, uh, the plan, on the agenda, it does not tell you the page number. It's just the next page, page 74, which is this. Okay, and here it says, draw a picture of where you live. However you perceive it, boys and girls, you could draw your house. You could draw Miami Beach. You could even draw Florida. That, that, those are all correct. You live in all those places. You could even draw the United States because you do live there. Just maybe point to where in the United States you live. It's up to you how you perceive this. Okay, then it says my favorite thing to do where I live is. So remember, think about it before you write and you're just completing the sentence. You don't have to rewrite what's on here. Remember your finger spaces. Make sure to sound out and a period in the end, okay? Today, the weather where I live is, oh, we talked about it that a little, but go outside. You're in for a surprise. It's so nice out. Okay, so the weather where I live is, and you're gonna fill that out. That is it for social studies. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so for journal, another super easy task. You are writing your address and phone number in your journal. Um, you did that yesterday, so you could just copy it from there and try to review it. Try to memorize it. Remember, we talked about the importance of knowing your address and fo phone number for safety reasons. But also, it is a good, uh, uh, another reason to know your address is, because when you send letters out in the mail, you need to put your address on there, okay? And the address of the person that you're sending it to here. Okay, so address is something you should learn. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go over our spelling and sight words. You don't have to do spelling city today. It's just reviewing, so you could do it here with me. Okay. See it there, I'm gonna stop share because I don't think this, minimize this. Give me one second, boys and girls. I wanna make sure I do this right. I already made this video and okay so here are your spelling and sight words so for our spelling words what we're gonna do today is we are gonna do a roller coaster okay a roller coaster going up and down the first sound the middle sound and the last sound okay so first tell me the word and then we'll do the roller coaster number one say it Toe, if you said toe, that is correct. Number two, 
Doe, doe, a female deer. Number three, feet, feet, one foot, two feet. Number four, heel, the back of your foot, heel. Number five, oat, oat. There are many oats in your oatmeal. Some cereals also contain oats. Number six, goat. Goat, the animal we wrote a story about. And number seven, float, float float or sink, we know what that is. Okay, so what we're gonna do now with our spelling words, we're just gonna do this with our spelling words, is we're gonna do the roller coaster and um, this, and say the beginning sound, middle sound, and ending sound. If there is, some of them just have two sounds, okay? So if they do, we just do the two sounds. Okay, here we go. So let's start with toe, toe, t, o, do, d, o, Number three, feet, feet. Number four, heel, heel. Number five, oat, oat, just two sounds. Number six, goat, g, o, t. And last one, float. Let's put that blend together. Float. Very good, boys and girls. So now let's look at our sight words. Number one, would. I would do that. Number two, very. It is very easy. Number three, your. This is your house. Number four, it's, it's cover is broken. It's number five, around. We are going around the neighborhood. And number six, don't, don't. Remember don't stands for do not. And you see that there? Do you remember what that's called? An apostrophe. An apostrophe. Um, and we put that apostrophe there because we removed the O from not. So it's kind of taking the place of the O in not. Okay, so those are your words. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, so... Let's see what our next task is. Okay, your next task is to reread the goat. You could do that with me here. Let's, let's kill two birds with one stone. That is called an idiom. We wouldn't really do that. Okay, let me see where this is. Give me one second, boys and girls. Where do you go? One second, there we go. I see it now. Okay, share. There we go. Okay, so we're going to read the goat together. And I don't want you just to hear me read it, I want you to try to read it with me. Okay, so here we go the goat. A goat ran up the road. The goat came to a tin can. The goat ate the tin can. I like this tin can, said the goat. What are those called there? Does anyone remember? They're called quotation marks. Say it with me, quotation marks. Remember quotation marks is when a character is speaking in a story. So this shows this is where the beginning and the end 
of his quote, the thing he says. Quotation marks. Here we go. I'll just get my page. The goat ran up the road. The goat came to a toad. The toad was in a boat. The toad did not like the goat. The toad ran to hide. The goat came to a coat. The coat was on the line. The goat ate a hole in the coat. I like this coat, said the goat. The goat ran up the road. It came to a bit of soap. The goat ate the soap. I like this soap, said the goat. Mm, I don't think you'd like that. The soap made foam. The goat gave a big moan. Hmm. The goat ran up the road to a big tub. The goat ran to the tub and dove in. The goat got rid of the soap foam. The foam was in the tub. The goat said, I did like the tin can. I did like the coat. Soap is fine in a tub, but not in a goat. Hmm, I agree with him. We should not eat soap. Okay, so that is our story, The Goat. And remember, it's okay if you weren't able to print it. I wasn't able to print it either. You could just use it on your computer. Okay. So the last thing we're gonna do together is we are going to reread Todo Acerca de los Mamíferos. Can you say that again with me? Mamíferos is mammals. So Todo Acerca de los Mamíferos, everything about mammals. Okay. So, I am going to share the screen again with you. And I am going to, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to do this with you guys here. And then remember I told you, you could put a little icon on the bottom that's the easy way to get to my Mayan. And then you could go to your, um, your project, or you could always search. I'm just gonna search. Find it, there we go. So we're gonna read it together. Todo acerca de los mamíferos, por Helen Gregory. Los mamíferos son uno de los seis grupos de animales. Seis grupos, six groups of animals. It's one of the six groups. Todos los mamíferos tienen pelo o pelaje. So mammals have hair like we do, or fur. Algunos mamíferos tienen pelo muy corto o muy poco pelo. So some mammals have little hair or very short hair. Otros mamíferos tienen mucho pelo. Mucho pelo, a lot of hair. Las crías de los mamíferos toman leche de su madre. So mammals drink milk from their mother. 
Muchas crías de los mamíferos aprenden de sus madres a sobrevivir. That is true. We all do learn from our mothers. Mammals do. Los ratones cuidan a sus crías solamente por unas cuantas semanas. So some of our mammals only take care of their, their babies for a little while. Los humanos cuidan a sus hijos durante mucho tiempo. Humanos. What, what are humanos? Remember, pictures give us clues. Humans. Yes, humans are mammals. And we do take, take care of our children. Todos los mamíferos tienen columna vertebral. Spinal cord. Esta jirafa tiene una columna vertebral muy larga. Very long. Todos los mamíferos necesitan respirar. Los cerdos respiran aire. Respirar. Las ballenas y los delfines también respiran aire. Los mamíferos son animales de sangre caliente. Warm-blooded. El cuerpo de un mamífero permanece a la misma temperatura todo el tiempo. Los mamíferos pueden vivir en clima cálido o en clima frío. ¿Eres tú un mamífero? So, mammals can live in cold climates or warm climates. ¿Eres tú un mamífero? Are you a mammal? Yes, you are. I hope you said yes. So when you're done, you just click I finished this book. And it may take you to a quiz. If it does, you could try it out. Okay, test that out for me. Okay, so that is it. Let me remove you guys from here. I hope that helped. So you're done with three of your tasks. Remember, boys and girls. Um, well, let your parents tell you how much I ready you have to do. Um, I ready, science, social studies, journal, study your words. Tomorrow, I'm not gonna be able to do the spelling and sight word test with you. However, I have a way to assess you. We will be using Spelling City tomorrow and Starting tomorrow, it will be there. It's not there yet because I would just want you to do it for your assessment on Friday. Um, you're gonna have a spelling test on there where you will type out the words and you will have a sight word test on there. Boys and girls, please be principled, put the words away. I trust you guys. Don't ask your parents for help. Do it on your own because I wanna see if you could do it and I know, I know you could do it. Okay, that is it for today, boys and girls. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I miss you guys so much. Air hug, air hug, big air hug. And remember, what are you, boys and girls? I am kind, I am smart, and I am important. Have a wonderful day, and remember to have fun. Read, read, read. Don't stop reading, and have a wonderful day. Miss you guys. Bye.